I'm from New Orleans, and I've been in New York since about 1962, but I came here for directly from England. I'd been living over in uh, Europe for a while, and then uh, hanging out with a whole bunch of uh, people who were coming down from uh, Oxford for the most part. People who worked for BBC and uh, and uh, in, in, uh, film and a lot of writers and stuff like that. And then when I got ready to come back here, I decided uh, instead of going to the old because I wanted to be around uh, a bunch of writers and people in the arts so I decided to, uh, to move to New York. For the most part, there was about two or three places where people hung out. There was a bar up there on 10th Street Avenue B called Stanley's. There was a place down here called Irreliable, which is across from where the New York Rican Ports Cafe is. And there was a jazz club uh, down there called um, the Slugs. So that was the only places where we hung out at. They had poetry readings at uh, a place called, uh, what the hell was the name of the place? Le Domingo which was named after a place in Paris, which means two cigarette butts. And that's where they hold poetry reading, so, you know, the poets hang out there. But then I met this woman by the name of Dora Spinoza. So Dora came up with a crazy idea. She said, well, you know, since you live here by yourself, why don't we turn this place into a gallery? I said, well, it's too small. And I said, the only thing we can show here would be photography. And, uh, we can do that, we can do two shows a year, one in the fall and one in the spring, and that'll be it. So we saw off with a show of photography, but it had so many different people here, and they got so excited about it, is that uh, I conceded and uh, told Dora that she can do shows here at least once a month, different people, and then from photography we started showing, you know, uh, sculptures and paintings and, you know, just about everything, film, you know, you name it. So that's the way uh, the gallery was born. Uh, the way I met uh, Chris and, uh, and Janet, uh, I found out that, uh, you know, Janet had some time, so I, I didn't have anyone to run the gallery at the time, so I asked her would she take over and run the gallery, and uh, she decided, you know, why not? What I would like to see happen with the gallery is that a more v variety of shows, you know, as opposed to uh, what's going on right now. And the other things is that uh, when I'm in the process of uh, putting together with uh, Shivisa, who will be later on, is... Um, putting together a, a, a reading series because he used to do a, a poetry series here. And, uh, but I'm going to get uh, funded for that. So, you know, I'm, I'm basically a writer, so I mean, my main, main interest, uh, you know, has always been most of it the magazine, and I always saw the other things that tribes, uh, um, uh, tribes do ex as being uh, auxiliary to the magazine. So I want to definitely continue with the magazine. I just want, want to do other things with the magazine, eventually, meaning uh, start publishing, uh, you know, very serious, uh, you know, interviews with uh, writers and musicians and painters and people like that. And that's, and, uh, that's uh, where I see it going. You know, of course, there's got to be multicultural, multiracial, cross, uh, what do you call it, cross-generational and things like that. You take established writers or established uh, painters or musicians to, to draw a crowd for uh, those who are just starting out and that uh, more or less uh, gets a crowd here, you know. <laughs> And that's where we're at now. <laughs> you got the whole picture, my dear.